welcome back to Madam Bonsai channel. Uh, today I just want to share with everyone simple thing is soil for our bonsai also to repot your uh, plant through any time that you need to do. So let go through with me and we do just that today. Before we start I like to talk about tools that you need. Um, a side cutter which you, I steal this from the husband toolbox which he hate me for that. Um, this is a root rack so it's to uh, separate your trees and your pot out. A shearer or a um, secretary, they even have a little knot in here that you can cut your wire out so you don't even need the side cutter if you've got one of these. And of course this is a trimmer uh, with the spring load but you can even cut with your chicken, uh, kitchen uh, secateurs and all that so don't stress about the tool as long as you've got the basic cut something, trim something, that's all you need. Okay, so this is the bonsai mix that I use every day for most of the tree. So we got sakadama, which is almost like akadama, but it doesn't break down for a long time, which is perfect for drainage, nutrient. Then we got sand, fine sand and pine bark, just to help the air. Now, and this is uh, scoria, which is akadama and kamura mix already. So this is my perfect mix for my bonsai five component, even part. One scoop of this, one scoop of that, one scoop of this, and that's all you need. Then you mix it together. The tree I'm about to repot is a medium size, so I use one to three mil of the sakadama. Fine box with sand, and this one I'm using five to eight. Uh, so that will give you enough drainage, nutrients. So quick mix together. You can use fences too or just one of these. Uh, that fan is perfect for mixing your soil because I use on the table a lot. Um, while I'm doing this, I would like to talk about fertilizer. Don't put fertilizer into your mix because every time you report your bonsai, you cut your roots and all that. And if you put fertilizer in, it's not something you I suggesting you to do. I do it after maybe eight weeks, bare minimum is six weeks, that when the root is already healed. So that simple mix for your bonsai mix. Let's move this out and then we'll get the tree in and we pot this tree up so you can see it. Uh, I need to repot this probably like a year ago but I didn't have a chance to do it so this is a black pine um, not that I need to change the pot but the soil in here it getting a little bit damp as you see like it's so wet and soaked so the person who have this tree before using different soil than myself so I'm gonna change that first thing you have to do uh, repotting everyone say repot black pine in spring my personal experience you can repot pine anytime as long as after you repot you control the water correctly so today is winter in Melbourne in Australia uh, not that cold but I am going to repot so first thing you do um, so cut out all the secure wire under the bottom of the pot Then use one of these just to smooth the soil all around it so you can get your tree out very easy. Stop for a second. So um, by doing this, you get your tree out really easy. Do so you don't stress the root? This is not root down yet, um, but I really need to change the soil for this tree. About a month ago, oh. I worked with this tree because it's all rot on the, as you see there, I did carving and then I sealed it already. You now it's time for me to get it out and change the soil and hopefully the tree will be healthy again. Ooh, not that easy, huh? Let's see. noise 
be patient when you try to get a tree out of a pot like this because it's really, really thin and it sits really tight. So you just go slowly. You don't want to damage the pot either. wrong then I said the tree is not root bound but it's really chin with it don't don't rush when you try to get trees out Really, really, really down to the point. If I wasn't video for you to watch, I would have hacked a tree out by something else sometimes. But don't do that. of help so I just use anything that you see that is strong enough for you to lift the tree up a bit but don't break your pot there's something under this pot that is really hard to get it out I had break pot before when I um three pop uh, with no patience so don't do what I did just slowly and do it actually this tree surprised me a lot first thing first we're gonna put some sakadama where all the drain hole is that just to help two things once is the outer soil don't run down because this thing doesn't break so you do that or any stone there's no need to be sakadama remember plant grow in any soil as long as good drainers good fertilize and then you get a scoop of soil mount it in the middle of the pot maybe a little bit more than a scoop Leave it there. Don't don't uh, don't spread them out. And then get your tree. I might cut a little bit more of this root off there. Eh? Okay, take your tree. You put it in. Leave some of this root outside that is a little bit long. Don't squash them underneath the pot like this. I'll show you why we do this for the round pot. So take the root outside, the longer one. You can cut this complete, but completely, but I want to keep this healthy root. You wiggle the tree until it hit your, your kind of bottom of the pot, but not too much. Now you turn it around and then start think how you want this tree to sit. You see this tree now sit a little bit um, to the angle that I don't like. So I'm going to lift that up a little bit. To do that, you get a little bit of soil. Fit it underneath there. Like a, to help you to hold the tree up so you can look. I'm happy with the tree there. Next job is for you to secure your tree down. Very important because if you don't secure the tree down when the wind or you're moving trees and it's losing the what you, you set out. So you just secure by finding your wire here, tie it down, but hide it. Don't just leave them very messy on the top. So I normally get my wire, go under the tree like that. Or if you don't want it to go under, you can go over, but 
try to keep it in the spot that it's really, really hidden. Pull your wire up. Twist it. Leave it there. Don't have to secure really tight because we've got like four set of wire. We do this one. Pull it up. Twist. So pretty much we prep the soil, we prep the pot, also we prep the trees. So now it's time for us to repot this monkey into this. Again, old pot, new soil. Doesn't matter how long it takes, but this is really good process. When you do this correctly, you'll be very happy. Tying the tree look really easy, right? But it's actually not. So you pull your wire up and you turn. At the same time, it's like you're holding a bird. It's tight, but not too tight. You don't want the tree to suffer on the root kind of system of it. So if you pull both of the wire up and then you twist it, not too tight, just enough. Same, go around, do this one too. Pull up, turn to however I uh, suit your hand. When you do all that, you make sure you see this. If I pick up the tree and it's still holding the pot, no movement, then that's good enough. Because the pot is very heavy, but if you can do that, it means your tree will stabilize in the wind or you're moving tree around. Don't have to tidy all this yet, just make it secure enough to stay there. Now, Tom, oh, I explained this before, why I left this out. So because it's a round pot, you want the root to go, it's already that way already go, but you want it, the root to go around so it can secure the tree a lot better and it doesn't squash under the tree. So you fit your roots in as so. You can cut all this off if you think your tree got enough root, but I don't think this tree, if I cut it bare to the bottom, then I got no healthy root left. So I'm keeping them uh, to help the tree grow a bit better. If you take up your tree and it's not much root on the bottom, I'll show you a trick next time how to grow all your root, new root really quick too, but this tree doesn't need it. Soil in as usual. Just go around. You can get a soil coop, but I really like this duck pen. It's flat, it's easy to get the soil. You noted that the soil a little bit big. When you do a, a round pot and flat like this, I do use the uh, soil a little bit bigger. So this is five to eight, there's a lot. Uh, five to eight, three to five, and the fine sand, that's fine. Now using, with my job stick, I don't have, which I do this a lot. I flip off my two upside down. It's the same with your job stick. You just either go down like this if the root is big and strong, if the fiber root of your plant are very small, don't do that. You just shake side by side like that. You're amazing how much soil you can fit into one small tiny pot. Because if you use your hand to squash it down like this, sometimes it doesn't go through the roots and the I think all plants, none like the air pocket in, the, in, in their system, in their root. So do this, you get a chance to go evenly around all your root. So when you water, they all get the same feed. You don't have the tree like half healthy, half not.
see how much the soil goes now. You can fit more soil in again. You do the same until you're happy with the amount of soil in your pot. Now, flat pot, round or oval or square, but if it's flat, one trick I like you to do is use your finger, go all around the edge of the pot, press it as tight as you can. What happens is with the flat pot, you water, it sit here. If the water sit here a lot, then you rotten your root out really easy. That what happened to this tree before. So do this little trick, but it help you great big deal in uh, in future of the tree. Because when you water, all this will get the water and whatever seed out, it will sit a little longer before it get down to the pot. You can cut out all the root that is stick up like small baby root like this. You don't want cut it out now. This tree will need a bit of our help because of in here, I didn't remove this. So you're using anything that a bit flat like this or chopstick or the screwdriver. You give it about 10 hold around closer to the, to the trunk. You just put it down, shake it. This is a really, really good trick for all your plant at home. You don't have to repot sometime, but you gotta go and do this one every, every year because in time the root grow in here too much and they compact you see how hard it is for me to fit it down until you hit the pot and you stop This is what I do. I probably do about five times going around the edge of the pot, keep pressing the soil down. Um, and also it helps, like when you water, the soil doesn't go everywhere. You can be, you know, you can afford to use a shower head a little bit stronger. Now, if you have to feed moss, make sure you remove the soil on the bottom because the water can't get through this. The, moss, the more the moss look beautiful, the worse it get for the tree. So you do it, but you gotta watch your condition of the tree. Like I love moss. So when you feed it in, try to find a spot that the root doesn't grow there too much. For me, it's more like covering all the wires and thing that I don't like it. I just put it around so it doesn't look like you're just repotting the tree but just make sure you remove all the soil at the back of it, even though it was from the tree before. The health of the tree is more important than the look. So when you're ready to take your shows and things like that, you can always, you know, add on a little bit. So I think that very good for um, the job already. You see how I left about half of the centimeter off the edge of the, the pot, the soil will not fill filled up all the way like that if you filled up all the way like that when you water the soil run off so leave it half of a centimeter to a centimeter and then you can get the water and all that get in a lot easier without doing everything winter you don't have because the tree before you remember i take it out the soil really wet you don't have to hurry up to water it but if you are hotter than say 18 degree then you take it out, give it a good water, run for like about five minutes, just sh really slow shower head, run through the tree, stop, and then come back another half an hour later, give another good water and put the tree away um, to rest for maybe the first two weeks. If you know your weather going to be rain for two weeks, then you keep under cover so you don't give too much water. But if it's rain one day, sun one day then this tree can be outside as normal winter or summer i'll do exactly the same so pretty much we're done for the report let's go back and think what we did so the soil very important because if the soil healthy your tree will be healthy um the root cut off whatever you need like if you see it dark black compact take them off um you can put in new new pot but i reported in the same so 
um, that the tree, this is a black pine, remember? And my guest uh, of the tree, after I talked to the period owner, the tree is about 45 years old from the day that two of them owned before me, so I'm the third owner. The tree will get better and better, but now we finished the repot. Let it rest for the next four weeks. Then I will clean up all the needle, which you can do it now if you you don't have too many tree like myself. You can clean up the needle now, but for me, I'll leave it another four week until the tree uh, adapt to the new soil, I'll water them, and just keep them as safe as you can for the next four weeks. Uh, that's about it for this. And if you uh, like what you've seen, please subscribe and then. Um, Take care of your tree as usual. I love them. Love, love, love them. Subscribe and follow my channel and I will share with you a lot more of repot throughout this season. And goodbye for now.